Hello everyone, my name is Vlad Kachinescu and in this video we will learn to say goodbye to three Microsoft Azure certifications. Uh, Microsoft Learn is in the process of doing their spring cleanup in their certification portfolio and it's not only about Azure. Two weeks ago I did a video on how Microsoft cut half of the certification exams in their modern workplace portfolio. So if you're looking at getting Microsoft 365 certified, make sure you watch that video as, as well at the end. But uh, today we are going to talk about what we're losing in the Azure side. We're actually losing one associate level certification and two different specialty level certifications. Okay, let's start talking about the exams. The first exam we have to say goodbye to, and the first certification, of course, as well, is the Microsoft Certify Azure Stack Hub Operator Associate, their certification that we got while after passing exam AZ600. This certification exam and the certification will retire on July 31st, 2023. You can still take the exam before then, so it's still available today, and it's valid for another 12 months. Microsoft recommends that instead of trying to go for the AZ600, instead, you will get those skills from the Azure Administrator Associate certification exam, so the AZ-104, or the Microsoft Certified Windows Server Hybrid Admin Associate certification path, which of course includes two different exams. Remember that if you are a current certification holder, you will still have it, you can still renew it, and in fact, the renewal window will stay open until January 31st, 2024. So you can renew a certification six months before it expires. So we will still see people have the certification until maybe even the end of 2024. The second certification that we have to say goodbye to is the Azure Support Engineer for Connectivity. This was a specialty level certification and it will retire on July 31st, 2023 along with its associated exam, exam AZ720. A lot of you that have listened to my previous videos about the modern workplace exam retirements probably expected this one to be retired as well, uh, because Microsoft did uh, completely retire the Teams troubleshooting and exchange troubleshooting exams. This was the other troubleshooting exam in the certification portfolio by Microsoft. So the Azure one will bite the dust as well. But you are more than welcome to take the exam anytime until July 31st, 2023. And this one will also be valid for 12 months. Instead of taking the troubleshooting connectivity exam, Microsoft recommends that you focus on the associate level exam called Azure Network Engineer Associate. So the reasoning why Microsoft said they are retiring the troubleshooting exams is because so much more things are covered into the how to configure tools rather than how to troubleshoot them. And in theory, if you understand how to configure and manage something, you should also be able to troubleshoot them. So that's Microsoft's reasoning behind retiring all their troubleshooting portfolio across different technologies. Similar to the previous exam, this will also be available for renewal until January 31st, 
2024. So you could go take the exam today, renew it in January. Remember, you can do it six months before and have the certification still for an almost full two years. So you still have the opportunity to take it today. Last but not least, another specialty certification that I was not necessarily expecting. The Microsoft Certified Azure IoT Developer Specialty Certification. IoT stands for Internet of Things. Honestly, I really wasn't expecting this certification to go away because Internet of Things devices are still taking over the world and using Azure as a backend platform is a great skilling challenge for developers. So uh, Microsoft, the way they explained it is that working with IoT is done by multiple roles. You rarely have a dedicated role that only does IoT on top of Azure. Instead, both architects should know about IoT. Every developer should know about IoT. So they found that the dedicated specialty certification exam did not have its place anymore. You can still take the exam until July 31st, 2023. Again, it will be valid for 12 months. And if you pass the certification before them or you have it today, you can still renew it until January 31st, 2024. And after that, it will remain on your transcript but will just show up as retired. So if you're thinking at getting those certifications, you're probably asking yourself, what should you do? First thing I want to talk about is, remember that at the end of the day, the skills you have, the demo projects, the actual projects matter way more than a certification. My tip for you, my recommendation would be if you're already studying for the certification, you're maybe halfway through, 75% at the way through, don't give up now, finish your studies, go get certified. And remember, even if the certification retires, it will still remain in your transcript, still something you'll be able to talk about to potential employers that you did that certification, that you have the skills to do those different tasks. Also, if you don't want to go for that specific certification, remember, you can focus on some of the recommended alternate certifications that we talked about. So instead of, for example, the troubleshooting networking in Azure, go for the configuring networking in Azure and so on. Even with those retirements, Azure is still the biggest and strongest certification portfolio by Microsoft Learn. I mean, after retirements for all of those, Azure will have 18 certifications. Dynamics 365 will have 11 because they're also losing a few certifications. Microsoft 365 or Modern Workplace is losing a lot of them they will only have six. So Microsoft 365 will be the one with the lowest number of certifications. And finally, both security and Power Platform will have seven certifications each. So as you can see, Azure is still the biggest by far. Now, everything I talked about here is also in an official announcement that Microsoft put out recently. The title of the blog is called Announcing Updates to Azure and Support Engineer Training and Certification Portfolios. And you will find it on the Microsoft Learn blog on the tech community. You have a link here on the slides and you will also have a link in the description of the video below. Now, this is it for this short video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I really hope you enjoyed and Please let me know in the comments, what do you think about Microsoft retiring those three Azure certifications? Is it certifications you wanted to pass or certifications that maybe if you were thinking like, hey, 
those serve no purpose they should get canceled and you're happy to see this so make sure you let me know in the comments and uh, remember if you want to get the latest microsoft certification news click that subscribe button this way you'll get notified as soon as there's anything new and exciting in the microsoft certification world thank you very much again for listening to this video and for making it this far i really hope you enjoyed